Hey everybody, it is your girl Sincerely G and I'm back today with another video. So as I'll see from the down below, in today's video I'm going to be showing y'all how to make some DIY blanket pants. So let's jump right into it because I've already showed y'all what y'all need. You're going to need blankets in whatever pattern you're looking for. I got mine from Academy Sports. You're going to need a measuring tape. You're going to need pins to keep everything in place, just straight pins. You're going to need an elastic band and you're going to want to grab a pair of pants that give you the style and fit of pants that you're going for. Y'all do not make the mistake that I made in getting spandexy and stretchy pants. Try to pick a more relaxed sort of pant, whether it's like a jeans or already sweatpants that you already own. That's where I messed up later on. But just this first part, y'all can watch it, but don't follow me. This first part, I realized that I made a mistake, but I'm deciding to keep it in the video because if you're anyone who's like me and you're really visual, seeing where I mess up is going to help you later on, but I'll show you how to fix it. I had to get two um, blankets because of my measurements. I got some thick thighs that save lives. So I got two blankets, but depending on your size and your shape, you may only need one blanket. It really just depends. So I'm just showing y'all the first step when this is correct is to just fold your pants in half and you're going to make a pattern. You're gonna basically trace around the pant. And I'm not tracing right up next to it because since we are going to be sewing this, I'm keeping about an inch to an inch and a half extra fabric around the sides so everything can fit when it's sewed. But you're just tracing around one side for the current moment and you're either gonna pick the front or the back pattern. With most pants, there may be a difference in the front or the back, it really just depends, but just to be safe, we're going to flip it over later on, but I'll show you later. So just watch this, see where I mess up, and then I'm gonna show y'all how to fix it later on. And y'all, this is exactly where I messed up. So you see, I flipped the pants over, but when I try to just envision what the pants would look like, I noticed that I just did not cut it right at all. Like, d does that look like pants to y'all? No, it doesn't because it's not. It just wasn't done right. So I'm going to show y'all what to do next. You see me, I'm trying to figure out how they go together, what I, where I messed up. It, it was just bad all together. <laughs> so don't follow me, but now I'm gonna show y'all what to do. You see me? Um, Had an issue. Y'all may be hearing the TV if I decide to keep the audio in for this part, but um, just messed up. Don't do what I just did. 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 But let's start again, fresh, new, got this. Okay, so back to the voiceover, y'all heard me, no pro at this, but now you see me, I'm folding the pants back in half so I can get the front pattern of the pants. I'm going to lay it out, I'm gonna put it on the edge because that's where, that's the side of the pant where I want the fringe part to show. Doing the same thing as y'all saw me do earlier and basically adding about an inch and a half of seam allowance to take into consideration what may go away once it actually gets sewn together.
Okay, so now you have one part or one half of one leg of pant together. And now I ran out of fabric, so I'm opening up the new blanket. And now I'm just gonna take that piece that we already cut out. I'm gonna put it on the opposite side of the fabric that we have. You're also going to flip it around because why we're now going to make the front half of the other leg. And if you know, your legs are opposite, so that's why you need to flip it over. It's very important to flip it over or you will not be doing the correct thing. And that's where I messed up the first time. <laughs> Okay, so now that I've cut out the front of the other leg, you'll see that I'll lift it up for a little bit. You have the front of both sides of your leg that actually look correct. So now we're gonna go through, you're gonna fold your pant on the other side and we're going to basically be cutting out a pattern for the back leg or the back part of your leg. You're gonna do basically the same exact thing, but this is just the other half of your leg now. And just a reminder, when you're cutting, make sure you allow for at least an inch to an inch and a half of seam allowance. Remember, you can always take your pants in, but you cannot get more fabric or you cannot take them back out. Okay, and now you see we're gonna do the same thing where we flip it over because why? Your legs are opposites of each other, so it's very important to flip it over. <laughs> we're just flipping it over and we're gonna cut the same exact way so we can get the other back to your other leg. <laughs> Okay, and now that you've cut out your pieces, you're just gonna see me, I'm gonna lay the sides out just so I can visualize the pants. So these are the two backs, and now here are the two fronts. You're gonna see me pin these together. This is also a part where I messed up. Y'all do not pin each leg to each other. Please don't do that. Do not follow me. <laughs> what you're actually going to want to do, and you'll see it in the next clip, is you're going to want to take both fronts of the pants 
flip them on the inside out and you're going to pin the pants that way. It may not sound right. It may, I may sound very confusing right now, but if y'all wanna see another video on this, now that I actually know what I'm doing, let me know and it'll be way clearer. But basically you're gonna take both front patterns of the pants, turn it on the side that's gray, which is the inside of the pants, and you're going to pin the crotch part. You're gonna do the same thing with the back side of the pants. And this is because we're going to first sew both front patterns together and both back patterns together before we put them together. But you'll see this more clear in the next clip. Okay, so now you see what I'm talking about right here. And we tag teamed in with Mama Sincerely Dree. Y'all thank her for helping me with this because I don't know how to sew. But she's sewing that crotch part of the pants. You're not going to sew all down the inside of the pants. You're just going to take the inside of the pant where it pokes out and you're going to sew that part together. So she just did the front half and now she's going to do the back half. And you'll see a frustrated Dree sitting over there on the other side of the table. Very confused, cause y'all, this was a very long night trying to figure out how to do this, but it turned out good. <laughs> okay, so now that our two fronts are or that our front and our back crotch parts are sewn together, you'll see me lay them out again so we can just see how the pants look. Okay, so now you wanna place both of the pants opposite sides in. So you want both of the darker red sides to be basically touching each other. And now we're going to pin up the rest of the inside of the leg. Why? Because now we are going to be sewing the rest of that part in. And you want this to be done inside and out so that your seams are, or the extra seams are in the inside of the pant and not showing on the outside. Okay, and now you see Mama Sincerely Dree is going in to finish sewing out the rest of the inside part of the leg. And now she's just gonna do the same with sewing the inside part of the leg, but on the other leg. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, now that the inside of your pants are sewn together, all we have to do is sew out the outside part of our pants. So for this part, you're gonna see Mom Cecilia Drew help me out with just figuring out how I should be pinning it. But you're going to take the front part, you're gonna slightly fold it over as you see me doing. This is so that these unfinished edges do not show on the outside of your pants. You're just gonna slightly fold it over and then place a pin on it. So your pant will have a finished look in the front. And y'all, my explanation of this may not be the best because me personally, I'm very visual. So just, just watch the video. You'll be able to really see what I'm doing. You know, the lingo may not be fully correct. <laughs> And now we're gonna do the same thing to the other leg. Okay, and now we're just going to sew this part in. You're just sewing right above the fold that you created so everything continues to stay nice and clean. And y'all, we had a little technical difficulty with our sewing machine, so don't mind all that. We're just gonna get right back into it. <laughs>
Okay, so now this part, I did not pin because Mama Drew already knew how to do it. But now we're just creating the pocket for the elastic band to fit in. So all she did was take the top part of our pants, the pants that, the part of the pants that would be along your waistline, and she's just folding it over, an inch over, so that our elastic band that you can see on the right side of the screen can fit into it. You're just creating a pocket for it to go in. However, you don't want to, in this step, you do not want to fully put the, you don't wanna fully sew all the way around because you're gonna need at least one little pocket to put the elastic band in. But you see, she's just sewing mostly all the way around and she'll leave a slight section open. And now she's also going to hem up the bottom of the pants. You hem up the bottom of the pants the same exact way that you would do with the top part for the elastic. So all she's doing is just folding over those ends that were unfinished and she's just sewing right along around so that the bottom of the pants can be nice and clean. We are gonna go back to the elastic, but she did this part first. Okay, so now it's time to get this elastic band. You just saw Mama Jerry put a large safety pin that she pinned onto the end of the elastic band. This so that we can keep track of where the elastic band is inside of the waist part of these pants. And you're just gonna feed it all the way through to the other side. It may be a little struggle, but you just have to have a little patience and you'll get the elastic band all the way through. And to know the right size of elastic band that you should use, you wanna measure your waist and maybe take off like an inch or two, two so that can actually fit snug to your body.
And now once you finally feed your elastic band all the way through, you're just going to cut off any excess that you have if you did it too long. Tie the two ends together. You see Mama Dre, she's decided to sew the two ends together, but you could tie them. And then you wanna stretch out your waistband so your elastic band fully fits in it. And then your pants are done. You could try them on, they should fit and everything. If y'all have any questions, like I said, I know there was a lot of mess ups in this video because I was learning just like how y'all are learning. But if y'all have any questions, leave them down in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get to them. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you want to see another one, let me know or at least got a little laugh out of my mistakes. But I love y'all and I'll see y'all in the next one.